On my way to the north of Norway, to Ski Botten and Narvik. And I will drive through Sweden to Norway and I will also pass the town Luleå. And I lived there for a few months together with one of my best friends, Mark. And we were studying there at LTU, Luleå Tekniska Universitet. So maybe I will stop there for a short visit. We will see. But uh, I will try to film as much as possible. And hopefully you guys will like this video. What a surprise! I'm in Lulio right now. I'm gonna do some groceries here. I brought plenty of food with me, but there's one thing you can't have enough of. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy some snacks. It's not like I'm in France where there is a restaurant every 50 minutes. No, I even have to be happy with the parking spot over here. So I have like a meal with rice and I'm making a fried egg with it. Delicious. I've got my Netflix food and what goes along great with food or with pretty much everything, a specialty beer. Hold me close till I get up, time is barely on our side. Being a truck driver is so much fun. I was driving here in Finland, I'm like in the middle of nowhere, like absolutely nowhere. And I was driving and suddenly I couldn't steer anymore. Had to pull over, drove for a kilometer, finally found a safe place to, uh, to park the truck. Saw oil from under the truck leaking so that's definitely not a good sign now i'm waiting for my boss to call me back and we will see what we're gonna do about it <laughs> maybe uh i have to wait for a few more hours we will see hopefully there will be someone uh, who could fix it i had to 
seal, the cap of the truck, because I had to see what was leaking under the truck, made some pictures of it, and my boss sent those pictures to Volvo, and uh, or Volvo dealer in Holland is gonna send those pictures to a Volvo dealer somewhere in Norway, Finland, or Sweden, because I'm close to all countries. I'm in the middle of nowhere, like I told you guys before. And now I'm gonna tilt the cap of the truck back down. So like I said in the truck, put the heater on and watch a movie because it's gonna take a few hours before there is someone here. <laughs> I got the heater on, I'm making myself some coffee, got my Netflix, I'll be fine. In the middle of nowhere, Frankie. I was sitting here watching a movie and who pulled up next to me? My colleague Frank. So that was a real coincidence because there's not much traffic here at all. And I knew he was in the north of Scandinavia because we had dinner together two nights ago. And uh, that was a coincidence as well. Uh, because I was driving between Stockholm and Uppsala and I was on the phone with him and I asked him, where are you driving? And he said, somewhere between Stockholm and Uppsala and I was like no way he was driving 10 minutes behind me so we parked at the same restaurant that night and uh, ate together and now I saw him again I had no idea he had to go the same way but like I said a coincidence and uh, he had his 45 minute break here and uh, now he's on his way to the north of Norway as well and I've got some good news. I just got a text message from the mechanic and he said that he, he'll be here around 2, 2 p.m. So I have to wait two more hours and then I'm finally getting some help. Why are you running? Why are you running?
I wanted to load two vans, but I only loaded one because I've been standing on the side of the road for six and a half hours. And if you guys are wondering what the problem was, steering wheel hoses. The mechanic fixed it and it was possible for me to continue my journey. So I loaded the van in Shebotten and now I'm really close to Narvik where I'm supposed to pick up the second fan. But the reason I wanted to load both fa fans today is because the one in Narvik is closed on weekends. The boss said you should try anyway and he's absolutely right. So I'm gonna try tomorrow. Tomorrow it's Saturday. I'm gonna try to load the second fan but I'm probably have to uh, find a place for me to spend the weekend uh, tomorrow somewhere in or just outside of Narvik. And now it's time for me to sleep because I'm really tired. So sweet dreams. I just loaded the second fan. I wanted to load this one on Friday, then Saturday, but they were closed of course, so I had to spend the weekend here in Narvik. Now it's Monday morning and now I'm heading back to Holland.
am now in the harbor of Trelleborg in the south of Sweden and I'm gonna take the ferry to Travemünde in the north of Germany and the ferry will leave around 10 p.m. and will arrive tomorrow morning so Thursday morning around 7 a.m. so the ferry takes about nine hours and then I'm gonna unload the first fan tomorrow in Holland and the second one on Friday morning and I will load two fans in Holland like somewhere in the southwest or whatever and I will uh, bring those two vans to the east of Holland where the company I work for is located so and then it's almost weekend and I'm really looking forward to that so uh, and then it has been a nice journey of almost two weeks so uh, that's uh, more than enough time away from home so uh, yeah I'm now waiting for the ferry and uh, I think I'm almost allowed to start driving and to park the truck on the ferry so uh, hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the video
I loaded two vans this morning, unloaded them both this afternoon. And now I'm almost back at the company I work for. And then it's time for a weekend. It's Friday then. Let's